Hey, what's going on guys? It's Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. So, I told you guys in the last video I wanted to show you some really laggy gameplay that I had a couple of days ago, and here it is. It is Hardcore Domination. Right now, I, it, just the past couple of days, I've been trying to get to my Diamond Camo for my ARs. I decided to use the ICR, as well as I believe the KN57 to try to get my long shots, and oh my god, I did not expect that, uh, that it would be this laggy, at least in a Hardcore Domination. I actually also had to the bug where you actually completely lose sound of foot steps or anything so no matter if people are moving around you I just can't hear anything I can hear gunshots every now and then but the bug of not being able to hear stuff around you was one thing that completely bothered me this entire time but the lag was terrible the lag was just god awful I'm not I'm not messing with anything this is from the theater mode I know Treyarch talked about how you know people that you know watch theater mode or show theater mode gameplay it's not what's actually in the game no no I, honest to god this is exactly what I was experiencing in game it was this bad and I just cannot believe it was really this bad. I mean, for a AAA game, you would really hope that people would have, you know, really good connections, really good, um, you know, I guess interaction between the server and the player, but you don't have that whatsoever in this game, and that's just kind of the one thing that really sucks. It really sucks about this game that you don't have, and it's just kind of the one thing that really disappoints me about what's going on with this. People are having connection interruption, people are getting disconnected, people are having most migrations, and nothing is being addressed, nothing is being fixed. We are told that it's somehow being addressed, but I don't know, man. And in this gameplay and watching this right now, it is really, really bad. Really the biggest question I have after like watching this gameplay, kind of seeing how bad it is and just wanting to know when is this actually going to be fixed? I don't know how many people are still facing this problem like I'm, I am I at least did at least in this first game. Most of the time, my games are not this bad. Sometimes you can notice little things here and there when it comes to the connection or, uh, you know, whatever servers or people might have an advantage over you because they're jumping or something like that. But I do really wonder, you know, when is going to be a change to what's going on or an update or an upgrade or something that's going to be changing the gameplay because this is just one game for me. This is only one interaction I had in the game. And I really do want to know, like, how many people are facing this? How many people are actually dealing with this right now? How many people on a daily basis is this something you're jumping into? Because I get into some games, or at least people tell me, that they're like, hey, yeah, no, I'm dealing this, dealing with this on a daily basis. It does not change. There's nothing going on. It's just like this all the time. So... I'm, I'm really, I'm just curious, I really would love to know, I really would hope that Treyarch would hate and, and send out some more information saying, hey, look, th this is something that the server is just kind of dealing with right now, it's nothing, you know, that people should be dealing with in the long term, uh, but, you know, we will see some updates to the server or people's connectivity um, better in the future, and just let us know, be more transparent about what's going on, instead of showing this gameplay, like I'm telling you right now, the reason why I wanted to show you this gameplay is because I wanted to show you that not all of my matches are like this, not all of my matches are crazy terrible connections like this um and and just i don't know this is just the outlier to me because i don't know who i'm connecting to i guess that's the one thing that i'm not really sure about what's going on in this gameplay because i know some people might play in, in all, just all across the world europe australia canada you know south america wherever it is wherever you're playing from whatever continent you're on whatever server i'm connecting to i don't know where i'm connecting to at least in this game and that's just the one thing that i really don't know yet so i think right now at least for Treyarch, I think one of the things that would at least help me, or at least give me some, like, comfort at mind saying, hey, you know what, I'm in a good connection, I have a, I have a good connection to the lobby, I, I have a great connection to the server, whatever that might be, is just show me in-game, or show me, you know, where I just push select, and I see, you know, what uh, what the character roster, what the score is, um, you know, when I push that select menu, um, then I can actually see the ping of the server, I can see exactly what it is, I have to actually go all the way into options, and then into network, to actually see what the ping is, and that's just one thing that it's just way too many steps, it's way too many things in order to do in order to see you know what my connection is to the server and I really do think that one thing that would just give people peace at mind to give one thing uh, that would help people out is just let people see what connection they're on because I will tell you right now uh, if I had if I knew that I had this connection in this game I probably would not have stayed because this is just it's just so over dramatically just bad it is just really bad you've never seen a connection this bad it is just terrible so I really do think one of the things that would help out uh, just a lot is just when you actually select to see if we know how many kills you have or what the score is being able to see your ping right away seeing being being able to see what it is um, you know on a moment's notice uh, would be one thing that would help out tremendously if Treyarch did it but uh, honestly in the, in the long run just fixing connections to servers or fixing connections for players that are dealing with these types of problems I don't know again I don't know what the relation is to um, my connection to whatever server it is but it is just really bad it's terrible so um, hopefully later on in the future Treyarch does something to where we know exactly who we're connecting to or at least just 
I don't know, man. Just fi figure out some way to be able to fix it because connections like this where you actually get into a game and they are this bad should never be the case for a, a Call of Duty game ever. So, I don't know. I would love to know from you guys what your guys' opinion are about it. Um, I don't know if, I, if I'm just the only person that's run into this. I don't know what your guys' connections are. I know at least from the several videos that I've been talking about uh, connections, uh, people have talked about how this is definitely one thing that they are facing in-game. And I'd really love to know from you guys, what are you dealing with? What What is something that you guys are dealing with in-game that you are dealing with on a daily basis um, or something that is just kind of you're running into it all the time? I would love to know, so please let me know down in the comments below. But man, oh man, I really hope to never run into a lobby like this again because this was brutal. Thank goodness I was just getting my headshots. I don't have to do, or sorry, I was getting my long shots. Never have to do my long shots ever again, um, except for when it comes to sniper rifles, but... Good heavens, man. If this is something that you guys deal with on a daily basis, please let me know. Let Treyarch know because this is something that we should not be dealing with all the time. So please let me know down in the comments below, guys. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys all next time.